Well, as expected, the number two and three seeds, Peter Wright and Mensor Sulevich, will meet in the semi-finals of the Happy Bet European Darts Open, and no one will be surprised to see that number five seed, Michael Smith, has made his way through to the last four as well. Smith, who's reached a couple of European Tour finals already this year, and, of course, won the event in Gibraltar. But it's supposed to be Michael Van Gerwen who completes that lineup. Rob Cross, the number 16 seed, put paired to that plan and he remains on course to reach his first European Tour final. Has to get past Mervyn King to reach the semis though. King's a man who has wore the crown on the Euro Tour before. Even saw the walking girl wearing Mervyn King's crown. Well, I don't actually think it was Mervyn King's crown, but you see what I mean by that. Paul Nicholson, you're a man who knows what it takes to beat Mervyn King in a big TV event. This is on our screens, on your screens, and Paul Nicholson is about to be in your ear. Just like Chorley FM. Yeah, I think that crown does belong to Mervyn, because let's face it, he's the king. Every crown belongs to the king. But can he be the king of Leverkusen? Absolutely. He's played brilliantly this week, Merv, and he'll want to win this Ladies so gentlemen. badly. First leg is Rob to throw first. We talk about the fact that Rob Cross has been on the circuit for a period of six months. He's done wonderful things and we've talked him up so much. But now he's playing against one of the great dart players of this generation in Mervyn King. This could well be, arguably, the biggest game so far because he hasn't made a semi-final on the European Tour. He's made quarter-finals. But now it's time to step up, Rob. You've done the hard bit. You've taken out the number one seed, the world number one. Can you now take out the person that you beat in your first Pro Tour final win? Well, that might be part of the answer. A 180 from Rob Cross in the first leg. Mervyn King looking to reply in kind and might just do it. 140. Not quite. But we've spoken about Rob Cross's six months as a new kid on the block. Let's speak about Mervyn King's last six months, because Mervyn King has reached... This is his seventh quarter-final of 2017. He only reached four in the whole of last year. You said it yesterday, Paul. This is a different Mervyn King. It is. He's just putting in the hours. We all go on about how early he gets to venues, but the thing is he's putting in hard, hard work. And it's paying off. Just going to set it up, Rob Cross. 89. Intelligent stuff. It's alarming how many times you see him on a double after 12 darts. It really is. Yeah, 6-2 win for Rob Cross against oh, Michael right. Van Gerwen to get him into this position. Four times out of five, he's reached the last eight on the European Tour. But can he make his first semi-final? He's, he's made a good start. One of the things that we've talked about with Rob Cross as well in, in previous European Tour matches is his grip on the dart. He strangles that barrel Not with sure. a lot of his fingers. And I've got a theory about it, because a lot of the players use their fingertips. He has got it inside the index finger in the crease. And I think when you get a little bit nervous, you know, you get a bit more nervous in the fingertips. So if it's inside the fingers like that, you've got a bit more of a stranglehold on it. Seems to be working for him. 140. Yeah, certainly a top top player, of course. This pair have met in a high profile match before. They've met three times actually already, Mervyn King and Rob Cross. Cross has won a couple of those meetings, including nice. the final of his first PDC title. Beat Mervyn King 6 5 at Players' Championship 3. Well, the last time they played each other was 100. in Wigan, I believe. Yeah, just two weeks ago. Yeah. I sit on the same table as Mervyn at Pro Tour events. He came away from that game with Rob Cross and he said these words. That is the best that anybody has ever played against me. And he just didn't see anything else. That is some statement considering who Mervyn King has played throughout his glittering career. Yeah, Rob Cross beating Mervyn King 6-1 on that occasion. The victory that King has over Cross was qualifier for the very first European Tour event of this year, the German Darts Championship. 6-4 to Mervyn, who's now looking at 1-3-6. 
87. Well, he went for a treble 16 there, I guarantee it. It's actually a valuable miss, because if he does come back, which he will... Rob Cross often starts at treble 18 on combination finishes. 63. Little quirk of his game. Starts there Seven an awful 49. lot. Very interesting indeed. I'll, I'll look into that one for you, Murph. 17 will leave the favoured double 16 of Mervyn King. Game and that's why it's favoured. Because more often than not, the throw first. he pokes Game its on. eye out. Only the third leg that Rob Cross has lost in this tournament. The other two were against Michael Van Gerwen. Well, he claimed a whitewash win against the German qualifier Robert Allenstein. Yesterday, Allenstein, Allenstein. Stein. 83. Average 92 in that match. Went through the motions really hard to keep concentration when the opponent was at a much lower Six. level. But Michael Van Gerwen, a different kettle of fish, the best player in the world, as we all know, and Rob Cross averaged 102 this afternoon in that victory. 140. Mervyn King. Well, he averaged 102 against both Ian White and Devon Peters, and that's been par for the course for Mervyn. And he's the only qualifier left. He's the only person in this tournament who has played five games to get to this stage. Six. Beat myself in qualifying, 6-2. Then it was Keegan Brown. Then it was Kim Villianen on Friday. It was Ian White yesterday, and it was Devon Peterson this afternoon. Make no mistake. Not only does Rob Cross want to get that seeding of his better so he doesn't have to play Michael Van Gerwen as much, unless it's a final, but Mervyn King wants his seeding back every single week. Well, Rob Ubois, 158. 180 to lead, 38. Mervyn King will have a choice to make, whether he'll split it and go for his favourite double or whether to shoot straight at double 19. I see a six in my future. Oh, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. It is I now. see a six. It is now. Game shot on the third Well, leg. Mervyn King, Mervyn King, I have to say, having gone well, for it, a lot Mervyn of players would have stubbornly stayed Game there on. then, but Mervyn King decided, look, I've got a better chance of hitting double 16 now that I've made it so difficult to hit double 19. Just when you think darts is a little bit predictable, you see things like Robert Allenstein having 30 left and missing double 15 nice. and then going 10 double 10. We've seen 45 from Michael Smith with treble three, double 17. And that, from Mervyn King, that 38 was almost conventional because I think that was the right thing to do. He shielded the double Whoa. 19, can't see much of it, goes to the six and banks on his favourite. So I was right. I did see a six in my future. All right, I'll give you that one. Break a throw for Mervyn King. He wins the first battle. against the man from Hastings. Yeah, he's living in a great county. Sussex, that is of course oh, my home too. Oh. Rob lives about 45 minutes down the road. Doing Sussex proud, Rob. I bet he's looking forward to going all the way up to the northwest of England playing the world match oh, play. 34. There's a draw for someone out there, isn't it? Well, there's going to be a few dangerous floaters around, isn't there, Ian? major TV talks, so it's going to get more like that every year because the standard, as we keep saying, is getting higher and higher. Well, he's proof of it. He's come from almost nowhere in 18 months. And there are players out there like him, you know. There are. That's a wonderful setup shot for the second leg in a row from Mervyn King. Above 200 and then gets himself down to a, a double. Rob Cross is going to do the same. Almost. But double top for Mervyn King. We'll open up a two-leg cushion. Double ten. Game yeah, it's the there. Three-one lead for the king. The leg is off to throw first. Game on. These guys have played each other before, and they're starting to know each other's games very, very well. And I know Mervyn. He will want revenge for that lifetime performance that he gave, that he was given by Rob Cross a fortnight ago. And what's more. Mervyn has said that it's very hot on the European stage, but he's played at Vienna, he played at Hamburg, he's playing tonight. I think he's getting used to it. 
439. Well, just a little frustrated he wasn't able to follow Rob Cross with three big trebles in that visit. 83. If there is a weakness in the Rob Cross game, it's that last dart. It's the odd, wild one. And it's very odd. Yeah, it's, it's something he's aware of, Rob Cross. He, he does know about it. He's looking at getting darts modified slightly to combat that somehow. Wow. And sometimes he doesn't aim with his rhythm. He prods it in front of his eye and then throws and sometimes he just doesn't bother he just lets it flow and that's when the wild dart comes in good last start from Mervyn King gets him down to a finish that is more doable than 138 but it might be done and it has been done Rob Cross once again you play team at the start of the competition Treble 16, double 18, he does go his own way, but it's effective. Well, there you have it. He bamboozled me there. 96. I thought I could count. I am definitely part of the old school. I was doing my sums in my head, and he'd already hit the shot. That was brilliant. 140. Yeah, something is it's worth asking him about, because I've seen it several times on the matches that we've streamed we now stream all the pro tour events as well rob cross often on a combination that you can use treble 18 we'll use it first 140 maybe it's a comfort thing he just likes that treble and for me personally when i was playing at my best i loved treble 17 finishes 142 138 things nice. like that i'd want two of the same whereas he's taking it to the next step he just wants it as a comfort blanket it's almost like Treble 18 is his Mensa Sulevich's double 14. Good use of the 25 from Mervyn. Rob might look at 19s. 95 would leave 170. 95. Just going to put this out there before we finish this leg. He's going to tackle the best Treble 18 hitter of all time, and that's Dennis Priestley. He wants that tight. He's got a few years to go. But well, he doesn't have the option of using treble 18 in this visit, does he? Uh, no. Another one of those. Not enough juice. 134. Mervyn's on double 16 again. He did get a go at double treble 18 in that visit, by the way, but just wasn't for the checkout. Yeah, Mervyn King does check out 32. It's a good sign for the Mervyn King fans when he is pinging that double 16 with this kind of regularity. He doesn't look like missing it at all. He could probably hit it with his eyes shut right now. Very high standard affair, this. Both players well over the ton mark once again. Look at the finishing, identical stats. Apart from the fact that Mervyn King's won four legs, had more darts at double and hit more doubles. Then percentage, averages, 105 almost, Mervyn King. Rob Cross, one or two. This is a proper quarter-final. It is. Well, Rob Cross did an interview for the Dart Show very recently in Hastings. And I'm not going to tell anybody about it because you guys have to watch the Dart Show on ITV4 next Friday. And if you're not laughing at his interview, then you aren't human, 24. because it is nothing short of hilarious. Is he going to be laughing at the end of this? Three. Mervyn King is the man in his way. And Merv's 50 now. And he doesn't look like he's going to slow down anytime soon. Well, after his last Eight. match, after winning against Devon Peterson, he was speaking to Elmar Polker after that game, and he said, I'm going to be around for a long time yet. Uh, professional darts without Mervyn at my table at Pro Tours is just not worth going to. I've been sitting with Mervyn for nearly 10 years. Well, he we said earlier on, didn't we, the last time we didn't have a Dutchman in the quarterfinals of a European Tier event, that Mervyn King went on to win the title. 59. It could well be the Robert Owen, the Omen.
Oh, and Levy King tried so hard not to bust his score there. 130. He ends up hitting the big one. That's a brilliant one, you know. Oh, Rob Cross, you've just been robbed. Rejected. Oh, the bullseye turns down the dart. Wow. Its name wasn't on the list and it couldn't go in. And Mervyn King can now move within one leg of doing to Rob Cross yeah, what Rob Cross did to Michael Van Gerwen. Five through ahead on throw. Like Mervyn, Mervyn King, if he carries on playing like this, there's no reason why he can't wear the crown tonight. Absolutely. And sometimes you get signs that tell you maybe it's not your night. He's hit the bullseye. It just got probably two or three percent of the point what? is on the wire. It didn't have enough and it drops on the floor. So unfortunate. Because you never know, if he'd have hit that bullseye, 42 in tops could be a different Whoa. story. Well, the first semi-final will be Menso Sulevic, the Austrian ace against Peter Wright, the world number three, number two seed. Looking for a fourth European two title of the year, fifth in total. Sulevic looking to double his tally. That's what Mervyn King's hoping to do as well. But Michael Smith awaits the winner of this one. Well, there aren't many people left in this tournament who've already won this tournament. That's Peter Wright. He's the only one. He won it a few years ago. If he doesn't win it, we're going to have a new name. Whoa. Yeah, it's the same name, the tournament, but it does have a slightly different feel, having been moved to Leverkusen. Been a roaring success, I'd say, as well. 3,000 in the last couple of days. 95. Yeah, it was a... Big shoes to fill, Dusseldorf, one of the players' favourites, not just because of its proximity to the airport, but people genuinely like that place to play. It was hot, it was Whoa. atmospheric, it was fantastic. And hats are tipped to PDC Europe for the effort they've put in. This Leverkusen venue, keep it please, we all love it. Well, I'm not sure of Mervyn's method of travel this weekend, but when he was in single thing back in 2014, he rode across Europe on his motorbike. Could he finish in style? Just lays up in the end, 92. Rob Cross, a chance to break, 92. and just plant a seed of doubt in the mind of Mervyn. Double six, steps back, as he does, two sixes. The Michael Smith, 69. could be curtains, because we know where Mervyn's going after he hits a single 19, a double that he has hit with amazing accuracy in this match. Double eight in the end for Mervyn King. But it's not quite the end for Rob Cross. Rob, One last three. reprieve. Now, the lie of the first dart will be important. No score. And perhaps he thought so eight. hard about not blocking the double, he ended up missing the big number. Could have just been a slip, but Mervyn King wants double four to move into the last four. Four left. Game shot. Four oh, hits. The King is through, and the only qualifier who is left in the tournament is still in it. He eliminates the guy who eliminated the world number one. Rob Cross will have another day to try and make his first semi-final on the European Tour. But the King is a genuine threat. He certainly is. Mervyn King moves through to the semi-finals of the Happy Beck European Darts Open here in Leverkusen. Another strong performance. Rob Cross beat the main man, the world number one and the number one seed, Michael Van Gerwen, 6-2. But as we see so often, he fell at the very next hurdle. Mervyn King still going strong, and he'll take on Michael Smith in this evening's second semi-final. The first one will be played out between Peter Snakebite, right, the number two seed, and the number three seed, Austria's Menso Sulevic. That's coming up very, very shortly. But first, let's get a few words from semi-finalist Mervyn King. From dem hören wir mit Sicherheit mehr in Zukunft. und Mervyn King trifft im Halbfinale dann gleich auf Michael Smith. Merv, congratulations. Very, very consistent. Again, 100 average. It's, that's, that's just good. You just try what you can do at the time, you know. Um, and if that's good enough, great. If it isn't, then you're watching. Uh, interesting player, Rob Cross. Amazing how he's playing this year. First year on PDC Cirque. I'm telling you lot now. Watch this boy, Rob Cross. Watch him in the future. He is going to be a proper force in darts, I'm telling you. Michael Smith, the man to beat in the semis. 
I owe him one. <laughs> Actually, I owe him more than one. <laughs> okay, see you later. Thank you very much. Mervyn King. <laughs>